Every evening at seven o'clock in New York, people go out in their balconies banging their pots and screaming and singing, and it is to give tribute to the first responders, the, the medics, the nurses, the firefighters, the policemen who are putting their lives in the line in light of this pandemic, the coronavirus. Recently, there was featured on that, among those that were out there, was uh, a famous singer. His name is uh, John Mitchell Stokes, and he had been the lead singer in the, the uh, musical Man from La Mancha. He has that strong baritone vo voice, and he went out there and began singing The Impossible Dream. Just a few weeks earlier, he himself had contracted the coronavirus, and he wasn't sure if he would live or whether he would ever have a voice again. And so going out there was his way of expressing his gratitude for those who administered to him to make it all possible. You know, that is really part of our church's tradition, and that is reaching out to the sick, to the vulnerable. You know, in the first reading, the Acts of the Apostles, it would have been very tempting for the disciples to simply shrink and kind of get themselves into a hole and just stay away from everything. Because Stephen had been murdered, some religious fanatic named Saul was going around trying to kill any Christian he could find, but instead, they went out there. Philip was one example. He reached out to those who were possessed, and they were cured. It is really part of our tradition as a disciples of Jesus, realizing the one body is to be concerned for one another, for the least of our brothers and sisters. Even St. Catherine of Siena, whom we are honoring today, who was a mystic and preferred to just stay in prayer in her little room in her, in her house there as a third order Dominican, when she saw the need, she felt that she needed to go out into the streets, first with lepers and then when the bubonic plague broke out, going out there, ministering to the way she could. Now, I'm not recommending that anybody should go out recklessly to the sick. We need to take the proper precautions. There are people who are doing it. Let's support them. And if you are doing it yourself, thank you for your dedication. And I pray that you will be safe. But let us realize that we are all together as one body in this. It is as one body that we can be strengthened. It is working as one body that we can enable ourselves to overcome this. So rather than shrinking and simply holding ourselves up, let us look out and do the part each of us can do as we face this terrible pandemic.